You're listening to my WorldNet Daily exclusive audio article. My WorldNet Daily exclusive audio article is entitled, Native Americans Were Immigrants Too. There is presently a big push to not only rewrite both history and the present regarding blacks and slavery, but now the cancel culture mob has decided to also include American Indian heritage at the expense of evil white European settlers and oppressors, of course. Actually, we know what this is and has always been about, free market capitalism versus Marxism communism, but that's for another time. The Washington Redskins football team has been cowed into dropping the name Redskins for something more appropriate and sensitive to the feelings of Native Americans. The Washington Code Talkers really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Don't laugh, it's a real suggestion. Thanks to the U.S. Supreme Court, does Oklahoma now have to be split in half and given back to the Indians? How is that going to work, Justice Gorsuch? Plymouth Plantation in Massachusetts is now Plymouth Patuxet, as a tip of the hat to the Wapanog Indian tribe, and because plantation is hurtful to modern sensibilities. And we're no longer allowed to call them American Indians, you know, because of that evil white guy Christopher Columbus who wasn't even smart enough to realize he didn't land in India. Columbus Day is being changed to Native American or Indigenous Peoples Day. So, speaking of Native Americans, why do we call them this? Is it simply because they were here before we arrived? Or is it because they've always been here, thus the name Indigenous Peoples? Most would say the latter, but they'd be wrong. Now, I have no beef with the American Indian. But with all this rewriting of history, I thought I'd remind people of their actual history and lineage. According to Webster's Dictionary, quote, indigenous applies to that which is not only native, but which, as far as can be determined, has never been introduced or brought from somewhere else, unquote. Well, if this is the case, and it is, the Native Americans aren't indigenous, they're actually Russian immigrants. In fact, American Indian lineage has been traced to a tiny region of Russia called Altay that borders China, Mongolia, and Kazakhstan. Between 13,000 and 14,000 years ago, these Altians trekked thousands of miles up through Russia and Siberia, eventually crossing the then-exposed Bering landmass into the Americas. Quote, Alte is a key area because it's a place where people have been coming and going for thousands and thousands of years, unquote, said Dr. Theodore Schur from the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Schur's team checked Alte DNA samples for markers in mitochondrial DNA, which is always passed on by mothers, and Y-chromosome DNA, which sons inherit from their fathers. Both kinds of DNA showed links between Alteans and American Indians. Though it's possible that more than one wave of people crossed the land bridge, Schur added that other researchers have not yet been able to identify another similar geographic focal point from which American Indians can trace their heritage. So why can't we just leave history alone? The American Indian is no more native than am I. They've just been here for a lot longer. And they certainly aren't indigenous as they, like us, came to this land from another. It's time to stop messing about and insist that the cancel culture mob stop trying to erase and rewrite the factual history of this great nation. Give the American Indian their due with a national day of recognition if need be. Let Columbus have his day back and just let the rest be, as it has been, not offending anyone for hundreds of years. Thank you for listening.